In this video, we'll take a look at how to create an integration template from an existing data synchronization task. First, let's pick a DSS task. In this case, we'll use the one that that loads contacts from an external file into Salesforce contacts. So here's the exported XML file. And now we launch the Visio environment for creating the template and we pick the XML file and import that in. As you see here, you see the DSS task and the data flow within the task. And now we can add additional transformations as needed to the flow. So let's say we want to load only unique contacts from the external system into the contact entity in Salesforce. To do that, we'll bring in a sorter transformation so that the records from the external system can be sorted and any duplicates can be discarded. So first we bring in the sorter transformation from the palette and then we link it up using the link object. And now that we have the sorter transformation in the data flow, we need to set its properties. So we double click on the transformation, give it a name. And here we'll parameterize the sort key. So this allows a user to later specify the keys that will be, or the fields that will determine whether a record is duplicate. We'll also set the distinct property to yes to ensure that the sorter filters out any duplicate rows. Now we have the logic for, for determining um, the unique records. So let's set the link properties so that we can templatize the flow. So here we'll use the all ports link rule to ensure that all the ports will be selected from the input data set. We'll do this for the other links as well. And we'll also parameterize the source filter condition so that the user can specify the, any filter through the integration template wizards when they run this template. And we'll insert an expression transformation which will parameterize any field level mappings between the data source and the target entity in Salesforce. We'll give the transformation a name. And for the expression transformation, we'll parameterize the entire field level mapping expressions by, by choosing the parameter checkbox and giving it giving the parameter a specific name. And for the rule, for the link rule, we will use the pattern link rule and specify underscore out as a suffix for all the fields that need to be extracted from the expression transformation. This will get all the output fields of the expression transform and route it to the target. And now let's save and publish the template. Give it a name. And then now we'll publish the template to an XML file. Step is to import the integration template into Informatica Cloud and customize the task wizard. So we'll click the new button, give the template a name,
and then we'll select the template XML file that we saved from Visio and import that in. Now as you see here, all the parameters that we defined for the template appear here. Now we'll give the parameters labels that will appear in the task wizard. And then we'll set the display properties for the source and target parameters. So for the source, it'll be set to flag file or relational as, as the data source. And for the target, we'll choose Salesforce. And we'll also set contact as the object, as the target, and we'll set the editable property to no to indicate that the contact is the target for this template. Next, we'll set the display properties for the other parameters. We give each parameter a display order and select the appropriate input control. And the input control determines the, the widget that will appear in the wizard for that particular parameter. As you see here, the field mapping input control allow, will allow the user to map fields across the source and target. Now the next step, once we have created the imported the template and configured the wizard is to create a task based on that wizard. So we'll create a new task. We'll select the source connection and the source file that will contain the contact data. There's a preview of the data. Next, we'll select the target. The target is Salesforce, and as you see here, the contact object has been pre-selected, and, and the user cannot edit the selection. And next, we'll set, we'll set the parameter values. So first, we'll set the filter condition. This is a source filter. True is the default value, in which case all records will be extracted. In this case, We'll just check, check for nulls for the customer ID field. And next, we'll specify the sort keys. The sort keys will be the first name and last name. So if there are any duplicate records with the same first name and last name, they will be discarded before the data is loaded into the contacts entity. Next, we'll map all the fields between the source and the Salesforce contact entity. We'll drag and drop the fields across from the source to the target. You can also define complex expressions for each field if, if that's required. Next, we can schedule this task or just save and run it. Just run the task on demand, and you see this job running, and that's the end. Thanks for watching this video.